Oh, he just went. Stabby, 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 stabby. I'm gonna stick my finger in here. Here we go! Welcome everyone to the One Up XP show. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you everybody. Appreciate you all being here. Man, you guys are too nice. Really, really too kind. Uh, this week we are jumping back into Phasmophobia. All right, so Phasmophobia is a ghost hunting game. You have to use certain tools. You have to figure out what type of ghost it is, and then you have to do some other perks to get some extra points. But you're leveling up, and you're trying to become a professional ghost hunter. Back in the day, there was very limited things, especially with your tools and ghosts and maps, but they have actually had a huge update as of recent, and now there's more tools, and you can level them up and tier them up, and then the maps have gotten a little bit crazy with all the customizations that you can do from beginner to professional and even extreme ghost hunting. So Clam and I decided, hey, let's jump in and see how this update is. And, well, it actually went pretty well. We were on intermediate, so we're right in the middle. But it wasn't too scary. In fact, we had more fun, and I think we did get scared. So uh, that's good news for Clam and I, because, you know, the last thing I want is Clam to get really scared. Check it out. And Okay. Over here. Take a look at the equipment and prepare accordingly before starting All right, response to everyone. Have a member of your team escape the ghost during a hunt. Get an average sanity below 25. Find evidence of the paranormal with an EMF reader. Is this all of our stuff? Yeah, I told you. Yours wasn't in there. Oh, well, I'm playing hardcore mode. Let's go. Wait, I don't want this. And the password real quick. Oh, keys. I guess I'll take a. I guess I'll take a loaf stick. No, it's definitely all the stuff I put in. Hello. Hi. Is it working? Yes. Where's the power? We get clams some light. I didn't say. Power is on. Back here. Throwing stuff. I told you it was throwing stuff. I'm gonna put you right there. This room has changed too. I'll go get a camera. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna stay right here and see if it haunts me, okay? Okay. Chat, yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, what is the ghost name? Joe Bowen. Uh, freezing temps. I remember it used to when you saw your breath, it was freezing temps. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's not freezing temps. It might be. 
I mean, I put it down. It's close. It's cl close. Where's the digital thermometer, dude? There's night vision. I can't see a darn thing. I'm gonna be the first one to die. Joey, 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 Joey. Oh, I got level five. I got level five. Level five, clam. Journal writing. Oh, you got it. There we go. Ghost writing EMF level five. Should be a shade. What? You think it's a chain? Yeah. What three would those be? Oh, sorry. What three would those be? Freezing temps, journal writing, level five. Ah, I got those. Yeah, right there. Uh oh. I see my breath cools again. Yeah, you know, it's normal. Yeah, throw that rabbit, that <laughs> throw that bear down. <laughs> oh. Not cool, bro. Not cool. I need a flashlight. I feel so much shape from this flashlight. Bro, what are you doing? Stop that. <laughs> I'm sitting in the corner, I just saw the door open and your arm just go ring, ring. <laughs> Joe! Kill him! Joe, I'm in the dark. Wait, hold on. <laughs> that was not cool. I had. Look at, oh, look at, look at the rapids. <laughs> That's so stupid. Hey, look at my puppy, dude. <laughs> this is your arm, and it's the funny part. It's just you're just creeping in. All right, we gotta do something. Horror indie game. You're clipping through the door, but I know what you're doing. Oh, Joe, was that you? I saw the lights flicker, Joe. See, I gave you a toothbrush, dude. About as dead as uh, it's my glow stick, bro. Here, look, I made it glowy, glowy. Clam, you gotta shake it. You, you're supposed to. Oh, sorry. You're supposed to use uh, right click, and it shakes it. Ain't nothing happening. It's already glowy, glowy. I shook it. Oh, you shake it up again and it comes back? Yeah. I've been walking around in the dark this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he just went. <sighs> Apparently, he responds alone. I tell you what, if these lights go out and he decides to hunt, I'm dead. Stabby, 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 stabby. I'm gonna stick my finger in here. All right, we got it. We nailed it. This this guy's clearly not gonna hunt, so let's get out of here. This guy, this guy must be a newbie, dude. Let's get out of here. Welcome back. Yes. All right. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Times two. Give me all that money. Phone evidence. Daily discovery ghost type. Daily play with another investigator. Oh, man. Leveling up. Oh, level three. Level four. Wow, dude. Jeez. Went up four levels, dude. We are ghost pros, dude. So there you go. Yeah. Joe was not too scary. He was a nice ghost. We found out what kind of ghost he was, and we leveled up quickly. Now, I will say that was probably the best match of the night because the rest of them, one of us died very quickly, and those ghosts weren't too nice. But coming up next, we sit down with Steffi Bao of Init Esports. She's the CEO and founder of Init Esports. And she has set up Sim for STEM. And this week, they're in Detroit. So we sit down with her and check out, check out what it's all about and give you all the information you need in case you want to head down there and check it out. We'll have that information coming up right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to another portion of the 1UP XP show where today we are talking about uh, a little bit of sim racing, but also STEM as, you know, of course, with schools, the science, technology, uh, the mathematic, uh, mathematics, as well as engineering. But... When you put it with racing, a whole new world opens up. And there's a lot of cool things that we're going to share with you today. But today I am joined with Steffi Bao from uh, Init Esports. She's the founder and CEO of Init Esports. Welcome, Steffi. Thank you so much for being here. I can't thank you enough for giving me some of your time. You're a very busy person. <laughs> thank you, Michael. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank of you. Course, for of course. Of um, course. And uh, you have something really amazing, Sim for STEM, because you explained this to me. Yes. And it is coming to Michigan. Um, yes. So, and it's a great opportunity for kids uh, and women to get out and, and see what this is all about. So, first, let's explain what Sim for STEM is. Yes, so, so Sim for STEM, it's an ends on program where okay. we do STEM activities, uh, motorsport related. So, we put the kids in the roles of a motorsport team. So, you actually do, you learn by doing. And then everything you're learning in the, in the day, then you apply on simulators. So now we're bringing esports in, right. right? So like uh, we create a way to connect, you know, in a very authentic uh, way. I would say um, the digital world and the in real life world. So is it like from the pit crew all the way to the drivers? Is it everything, or what, yes. what, what are they looking at in particular when they're like getting their hands dirty? Yeah, so like we have a different activities. One is we make a, um, a student use math to learn about the racing line. Okay. So they have to calculate, you know, on paper, you right. know, like uh, which one will be the ideal racing li line. And in racing, you need to flatten the curve to go faster. Right. So they pl apply by doing, they use their math skills and then they understand it. And then they go in the sim and they apply on track That's in the so simulator. Cool. This is going to be a free opportunity, an amazing yes. opportunity for 14 to 18 year old girls, um, but as well as everyone else, is it open to everybody? Yes, so we get to the first few days of the activities, uh, it's open to girls, okay. you know, and the last few is open to everybody okay. that wants to come. Right. But reach out to us, you know, like we definitely want to accommodate anybody that wants to be part of this. Okay. And it's super fun and it works with the school schedule. So we go from nine o'clock in the morning until 2.30 in the afternoon and we also provide lunch. We have a five station, okay. so five hours. You know, with one hour, there's going to be the lunch hour. So each station, we have eight kids per station and okay. they rotate. Gotcha. Right. So everybody gets to do all of them, right. but in a rotation. 
right? Yeah. So, like I said, we have the racing line. Another cool uh, exercise that we do there, we teach kids how to build the steering wheel and then to attach it to the PC and play eye racing with right. it. You're trying to open that door for those younger ladies out there that might have an interest in this, correct? Yes, 100%. We are trying to create this pathway to be able to uh, expose as many girls as possible, you know, to what it, it would be to be part of a motorsport, the motorsport industry. And not everybody's going to want to be a professional race car driver or dirt bike rider uh, like I was, but they might, you know, get involved for, you know, engineering or to be part of a team in a mechanical way or, you know, to be a broadcaster or a marketing manager right. from a team, right? DeLorean, Cat DeLorean, yes, yes. the name mm -hmm. uh, DeLorean is the car. She is supporting the event and then it was uh, asked that it runs nine days. How did Cat get to be a part of this? Like, I, that is so cool to me that the DeLorean name is attached to it, especially Cat's name. Like, how did that happen? So basically, it happened because a cat is trying to um, bring the name, the family name, into right. a different light, meaning okay. like just like how we do right. uh, with Init, that we wanted to create this opportunity for young girls and, and boys, you know, to be able to get involved in motorsport. She is trying to do the same too with okay. the DeLorean the Next Generation. They are trying to really get involved in that way, you know, like an open doors for uh, giving hope and a chance to every kid to be able to get part of the automotive industry so when she learned about our programs it was just a match made in heaven so this is happening in detroit september 12th yes. to september 20th 9 a.m to 3 p.m um mm -hmm. and where is this happening now that's the other question a lot of people might say where is it going on at yes so it is happening at the historical society museum so oh, right so cool. in downtown we ask everybody to register to pre-register so right. we know you know like uh, who can come in and when they're gonna come in so to make sure that uh, everybody has a good time so we do have a website where you can go to register it is uh, sim for the number four stem.com and uh, yeah you can go in there you see the um, uh, the event you make the, the registration one of us is going to get back to you and say okay we can allocate you to this day or that day and then come and have a blast the important thing is uh, for parents to see how esport in this case in by by the way of sim racing it's uh, a viable opportunity to get a career in in whatever industry you want right so the beauty of it is like a lot of a lot of parents they might don't understand fortnite <laughs> right <laughs> yes correct yes but everybody understands what a car is right. so for us you know like we can put the parent into the simulator and say see this is what your kids are doing this is just one component this is a sim for us it's definitely like an opportunity to open you know a little bit like the mentality and get you know like um, esport more into the the um, the way they're supposed to be interpreted by people that they don't know as much as you and I do. Absolutely amazing. Steffi uh, Bao from Inna Esports, founder and CEO, uh, as well as uh, one of the founders for Sim for STEM. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And if you want any more information on exactly everything that we talked about today, we have all the information where you can find it below uh, on any platform that you are watching this. So Steffi, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope I can get down there to meet you in person yes. and see exactly what you're doing. But thank you so much for being here and explaining Sim for STEM. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure and an honor. And I count on you coming down and play on the Sim with us for sure. <laughs> And my huge thank you to Steffi for sitting down and giving me the Sim for STEM and what it's all about and what they're looking to accomplish. And then also, it was amazing to sit down in front of Steffi and talk to her about her three-time world championship in motocross, but also in esports and what it stands for and what she's trying to accomplish. Amazing human being, and I highly suggest you check it out for this year with Sim for STEM, but I have a feeling that it's going to be back because this is pretty cool. So thank you, Steffi. Now, coming up next, we're talking a kid again and the fundraiser Gaming for Adventures that we have going on until next April and where we're at so far. We'll have that coming up right after the break. All right, everyone, we're back at it again. We're raising funds for a kid again, and this year it's called Gaming for Adventures. And there's actually some really cool things that go with it this year, including the possibility for corporate sponsorships if you're a business and want to be a part of it, customized gaming jerseys. There's a lot of cool things that are going along with the fundraiser this year. 
Akit again got a hold of Clam and I, and we said, we want to take it to the next level. And Akit again said, oh, do you? And well, <laughs> they set the bar. We're looking to raise $30,000 this year. And well, thanks to the craziness that is you guys all out there and some awesome sponsors, we are now at $4,120. And not to mention, we've had to eat some pretty bad stuff. And we're going to have to continue that trend as uh, we got some more money in. And we'll have our live 24-hour stream like we did the last several years in April. And hopefully Clam can join me here in Northern Michigan when that time rolls around. When you donate, we'll do things on stream. And then we also have milestones. So when we hit a certain amount of money, we have to do some crazy things. And since we just passed $2,500, we have to do the hottest gummy bear in the world. If you want to donate, if you want to help, if you want to be a sponsor, you can. All you have to do is hit that QR code. That QR code will take you to the campaign page as well as the donation page, and you can make a contribution. And don't worry, if you can't do it now, it's going all the way to the April. But if you do donate, you're automatically entered into a raffle that we will do live on stream for amazing prizes come next April in the 24 hour stream. So every dollar you donate gets you an entry into that free raffle. And we have our very first sponsor for Gaming for Adventures, and that's the Kern Brothers. We have one more segment left here on the One Up XP show, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And that does it for the One Up XP show. Thank you so much for being here this week. Be good, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys next week.